person, you need to pay her more. She gets a bonus. They get thousand dollar bonuses for every deal they close. So that's like I think pretty good deal. Uh, Dave, is are all the Philippines all the all those people in the Philippines? Yes, all the acquisitions people are all in the Philippines. And um, will you sh share your Excel list of compiling? All of my files and everything are all um, offered to my students in store, the Storage Nerds Coaching Program. So if you want any access to that, you can um, get access there. I do offer, actually, I do offer some stuff on an, uh, uh, in the course, Super Simple Self Storage. So if you want access to like my deal analyzer and the sheet and the facility sheet and due diligence stuff and all kinds of stuff, there's a whole bunch of different like templates that come with the course as well too, okay? So you can always get the course if you want it, if you want that. Do you continue to follow up with owners that may initially not want an offer letter? Yes, we do actually. Um, we have a whole like a, pro a follow up process. Once a quarter, we touch base with everybody. Right is what we'll do, and um, we actually use Pipe Drive. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever has ever heard of it, but it's a sales and automation um, software. Right, and that's what we use internally to keep all of our um, our facilities. Because if, if you think about it, if we have 15 different virtual assistants and they're each doing an offer a week. That's 15 different offers. And that's just like, you got a lot of different offers going on, right? Every single week. So basically what pipe drive does is you create your own, your, your own stages. You have a stage like you could, and you just create whatever you want. So we have, for instance, like the seller offer stage, the deal analysis stage, the, uh, the offer, like made an offer stage, and then like the under contract stage, and then the closing stage. So we have five different stages. And um, and so, and then you move each lead into each, once it, once it goes, finishes one stage, it can move into the next stage. All right, so you can visually see all the different offers from all the different people. And then you can keep track of like what's needed from each one. And you can't move it from one stage to the other unless everything from that stage is complete, right? Because there's like these required sections and stuff. And if you don't have all the required fields filled out, then you can't move it to the next stage, right? So it's called Pipe Drive. It's a great, it's a great software. Anybody can use it. It's a little bit expensive, but it's not too bad for what it's worth. It's, I say it's it's great. If you're like one of these people that has a lot of deals, you want to be able to handle all those deals, definitely have to check out Pipe, Pipe Drive. Okay. Okay. And let's see. When talking to owners, how do they refer to you or the acquisitions manager? Yeah, so they just say that's what exactly what they say. It's like Chris is the quick Chris, uh, Chris is the head acquisitions manager, and um, and their boss. And then I'm like, you know, the owner is what it is, right? And sometimes they're like, I want to talk to the owner, you know. And and actually, a lot of times Chris will just call first and then introduce himself. And they, you know, but the truth is, is they give a lot of information to the to the team. They really, a lot of owners give information to the team, all right? So um, we don't really need to be too involved. What we're involved with is, is really just giving them a thumbs up that the offers are good, making sure everything that we need for the offer is inside the folder, and then quickly be able to go, go over that and then just giving them a thumbs up to send the information out, okay? That's kind of what we do, all right? So um, yeah, so that's basically uh, that's basically the virtual assistant. That's the acquisition specialist side for virtual assistant. That's really only one of like many different virtual assistants. And I didn't really think it was going to take that long to talk about it, but I think this is a good session, and I can always talk about our virtual assistants that we have um, for. Um, for the, the run it side, the management side as well too, because my husband, Pete, he manages all of our facilities. He also manages the funds facilities. And we have essentially, we have one, uh, so one, we have a thousand, about a thousand doors. We have one, uh, we have Bonnie and then uh, Steph, Patrick and uh, DJ and, and 
uh, Christie now. So there's six of them to run a thousand doors and we're growing. We're about to add um, a couple hundred more doors. We're adding like, I think 300 more doors. So uh, there'll be six of them to really manage that. And those are all virtual assistants and, um, and things like that as well too. So on the next one, and actually I think my husband has talked about how we manage our facilities on several different podcasts and uh, YouTube uh, videos. So if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of like hiring or, you know, managing and hiring people uh, on the management side, then I really recommend that you check out all those videos or, or podcasts there. Now for all of my students tomorrow, we're going to have Jim Ross come in and talk and he uh, he's going to be talking about management as well too. So make sure you show up to the mastermind tomorrow for all my students. 